guys, it's Jordan, and today I'm going to do another video on my back to school series. And you guys have requested a lot of duct tape things, so I'm going to show you how to make this cute little pencil pouch with duct tape. And it has just a cool little tumbler picture on the back, and it's Velcro like this and I also have made this one and then I've also made this one that just says love um, I know sometimes my tutorials can be a little complicated but these ones are so so easy and pretty much everyone has duct tape in their house so this is so perfect so yeah let's just get on to the tutorial for supplies you'll need some duct tape and I think it works best with two colors some clear packaging tape some sharp scissors some stick-on Velcro squares, and optional but very helpful would be an X-Acto knife, and also optional but helpful would be a cutting board, and this one is actually my mom's from the kitchen, but once I started using it with duct tape, she just kind of gave it to me, so yeah. Start by taking the color that you want to be on the inside of your pouch and laying it straight down onto your cutting board or whatever you're using. And make sure it's a little over one foot. And just continue doing this and I ended up using six strips but you can do however many you want. The next part the X-Acto knife really comes in handy if you're using it. And my cutting board had ridges of where 12 inches was and so it kind of helped me out to cut a straight line but if you need to you can use scissors or a ruler to help you cut yours better. Once you're done with that, just flip your sheet right over. Then take your other color of duct tape and try to lay it down as straight as you can and making sure to leave an, about an inch on either side and then just fill in the rest of it with regular duct tape strips. After that, take the duct tape that's sticking out over the edge and fold it over the other duct tape and try to make it as straight as you can without any wrinkles and do the same thing to the other side. Then flip it over and trim off all the sticky duct tape sticking over the edge. Then I'm taking a strip of my white duct tape and you can either rip or cut it in half. Then I'm just going to take one of them and stick it on the shorter side on that duct tape rectangle we made and flip it over and fold it over on the back so it looks like that and do the same thing to the other side. Then just trim off the extra pieces and you should now have a very nice duct tape rectangle. Next, take your duct tape and fold it kind of to where you want your pouch to be folded and make sure there's a little bit extra off to the side and you can just kind of play with this to however you like it. And if you're wondering why I have duct tape on my fingers, because I cut myself with scissors, yeah right, smart. Then I'm just taking another strip of my white duct tape and cutting that in half. You can either cut or rip it. And I'm just going to be using that to tape the sides together on the duct tape pouch and just stick them like this and do the same thing to the other side. And when you're done, just trim off the edges. Now your pouch should look something like this and now it's time to bring in the Velcro. And I'm just using two pieces but you can use however many you want. And I'm just sticking them down where I want them. And then I'm taking the other piece of Velcro and sticking it right on top. And this will just help with the placement of the Velcro. And then when you put the flap on top, the Velcro sticks to it and it's in the perfect position. And when you take it off, it is perfect. And now your basic pencil pouch is done. And it looks so cool. Um, but now it's time to make it look even cooler with personalizing it. An easy way to decorate it is just to add some hearts, so I'm going to show you two separate ways that you can make hearts using duct tape, and the first way uses an X-Acto knife, and basically you just carve it out using the X-Acto knife, which is a little bit tricky, and when you take it off, it just looks like this, but if you don't have an X-Acto knife, you can do the second way, which is basically just taking a piece of duct tape and folding it in half, sticky side out, and then just cut out a half heart shape. And basically it's pretty easy except that sometimes the duct tape sticks to the scissors, but besides that it's pretty simple. And I just stuck them down on the middle of the top flap of the pouch. And now that that's done, if you want to you can just leave it as it is, which is super cute, or you can even add a little bit more, which is what I'm going to show you how to do, but it may not fit everyone's style, so you definitely don't have to do this if you don't want to. Okay, so I'm actually just going on Tumblr on my computer, and I actually don't have a Tumblr, but I'm on my friend's Tumblr, and her name is Simply Jane with two A's, and she posts some pretty cool pictures, so that's where I got all the pictures that I'm showing you today. So 
once I've chosen my picture, I just dragged it onto Word and I'm just sizing it to make it fit the pouch. And then I'm just printing it. Next, just cut out the picture and making sure to leave a little border on the edge. Then just take your clear packaging tape and stick it straight down onto the picture and try to do it as straight as you can. Then trim or cut off all the extra sticky packaging tape. Next, I'm just taking my duct tape and measuring it so that it fits and I'm ripping it into four separate pieces and then I'm just going to be sticking them down onto the edges of the picture to make a little border and it doesn't have to look great right now because next is we're just going to trim it and just trim off all the extra duct tape pieces that are sticking out over the edge and once that's done you can just stick it down right on the back of your pencil pouch where you want it to be and once it's all stuck your pencil pouch is done and I wanted to do this DIY today because it has so many different variations that you can do to make it personalized for yourself and so here I'm just going to be showing you a few of the other ones that I've done this one I just carved out love with duct tape using an X-Acto knife and I had a picture of some streets on the back and um, it just is bright pink and black and I thought that was cute and here's another one that I've done and I just I actually printed out Jordan and used the same method that we used on the back to label it right there and this one I actually did make a little bit bigger and I used three velcros instead of just two and on the back I just found a cool tumblr picture that says the end so yeah you can really just change it up by adding whatever colors whatever things you like to your own so I hope you guys like this tutorial and these are the finished products and I hope you guys like them they are perfect for holding pencils and um, and you can make them as big or as small as you want like I made this one smaller I made this one bigger you know you can just kind of play around with the sizes and they're perfect for just holding anything you can even add duct tape on the sides and hole punch them so they can go into your binder and so it can be like a little pencil pouch in your binder which would be so cute um, and they just like work so well. So I hope you guys like this back to school tutorial and give this a thumbs up if you like, if you want more back to school tutorials. And um, yeah, subscribe for more beauty and DIYs. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Click one of these boxes to check out my latest videos. And don't forget to subscribe.